Cameroon lost. What a game. What a time. What a moment. What a match. What a what a just help me with a word in the comment section, you know what I'm saying? Let's interact. Bro, y'all y'all know I predicted a Cameroon win in this semi-final showdown with Egypt, but I guess God had other plans, you know what I'm saying? God said, you know what, Egypt will get to the final and play against Senegal. So it's going to be Sadio Mane and Mohamed Salah. Whew. I was thinking it was going to be Sadio Mane and Vincent Aubakar stroke Toko Ekambi. But anyways, guys, if you're new to this channel, do me a favor by clicking that subscribe button. Also, click on the notification bell so you never miss any of my video uploads and give this video a big thumbs up so it can go viral. Thank you for that. So today, or right now rather, we're going to be talking about the Cameroon loss to Egypt against Egypt. Let me know in the comments if you really thought Cameroon was going to lose against Egypt. And be honest though. I'm talking about based on their performances so far. Let me know in the comments if you really thought Cameroon was gonna lose against Egypt. To be honest, I didn't really think. I didn't really think that. I was thinking Cameroon would just. I, I, don't let me say cruise past Egypt, but I was thinking they would beat Egypt and get to the final. Oh boy. Oh boy. Cameroon. They played so well. They played so, apart from Nigeria and the group state. I think you know I'm talking about after Nigeria. I feel like in the group stage, Nigeria had 100 percent, um, 100 percent overall performance. Let me put it that way. And after Nigeria, I will pick Cameroon. You know, so I will say in the group stage, talk about all the matches they played. Cameroon actually came out second best in my own opinion with the way they played. But. To see them get kicked out at this stage, mm. well, it is what it is. There are a couple of things I want to talk about. I want to talk about the the reaction, the reaction of Samuel Eto when is his name Clinton? Yeah, when Clinton NJ is it NJ? I don't know if I'm saying it right, but when Clinton actually missed that decisive penalty. If he had scored that penalty, they would have kept going. But he missed it. And he didn't just miss it. It was a horrible penalty. How would you not even play the ball on target? How did you not get the ball on target, Mr. Clinton? How is that possible? You know, if you if you actually saw Eto, I think I'm going to put a clip there. Like, so you see what I'm talking about. If you saw it, Eto was literally praying for him not to miss that penalty. But guess what? Mr. Clinton just, he just kicked it. It was just like a child just kicking the ball. You know when children just play and they just play in the air. If it was a child, the hand would have... But this is a serious game, uncle. You know, I've seen some people online say that, okay, because um, I went online, read about the whole thing. So I guess some, so many people have been attacking him. And someone actually said that if you actually play the ball on target, you know, that's still forgivable. But for you to make it that horrible, like that was a horrible miss, if you would agree with me. Yeah, Samuel Eto, he was left devastated, or should I say he was frustrated, or should I say he was annoyed, or should I say he was he was mad at them, or should I say he was he was angry? You could just see it in his face. He wanted that team to win. Of course, he would want the team to win, but he wanted that win so bad. He even said it before the game. He said, "This game between Cameroon and Egypt is war, in quotes, war." You know, because these two teams are actually the two, or should I say, the most successful teams in the history of Afcon, in the history of the African Cup of Nations. Okay, now let's talk about their um the their play. I'm talking about both teams, how they played in normal time before they got to penalties. Both of the teams played well. Don't get me wrong, but I felt like Cameroon had more chances. They had a little edge over Egypt during normal play time. But the problem is. They did not take the chances and that was the same problem nigeria had with tunisia that got us kicked out you always have to take your chances in a game of football you always have to because you just never know and like i always say do not underestimate any team 
don't underestimate anything every team that comes into a, t- a certain tournament or competition they came to play serious soccer so people call it football they came to play serious football no one came there to lose no one no one would say, would say okay you know what we're actually leaving our country to play in this tournament for us to go lose no everyone is coming with a winning mindset with a winning mentality and one thing i've been saying is see egypt you know one thing i've noticed about them in this tournament right they are really really good at penalties they are good at penalties bro please do not play with them so i was i was telling a friend of mine earlier today right i told him i said see with the way the game is going it's probably going to end up you know in penalties like they're probably going to end up playing penalties right and i told him straight up i said if they get to penalties just know be rest assured that egypt will win you know egypt they, they played penalty they had the penalty shootout against um ivory coast and they ended up winning so i don't know it's like i don't know it's just they have this charm that they really they really feel confident when they they play penalties all the egyptian players that played penalties against cameron played them well confident awesome smooth finishes but back to clinton and jane is it in jane in jane boy you did you know try you know try you know try at all you should have put that that penalty away i mean even if you didn't put it away even if you didn't put it at the back of the net or in the net you should have at least shot that ball on target your shot should have been on target my man but i was really rooting for cameron because they played so well they've been impressive so far up until this moment in uh this tournament the afcon 2021 stroke 2022 tournament but i guess it just wasn't meant to be let me put it that way and then there was a chance that Mohamed salah had that i'm sure he, he kept he kept so many people on their toes but andre onana andre onana the cameroonian goalkeeper prevented Mohamed salah from scoring that goal from taking that chance to score a goal big ups to andre onana for that aha i also saw some news about you know they said some ivorians are jubilating because cameroon just got kicked out of the competition why why would they even want to do that <laughs> they said ivorians were jubilating in the diaspora i'm talking about the ones that stay in the diaspora and the ones that stay in ivory coast why are you guys jubilating because cameroon got kicked out why what what did they do to y'all that's what I'm trying to figure out. What did they do? What up, once again, Joe and Joe, when they dance, what did what did they what what did they do? Please, someone should let me know in the comments, please. What did they actually do? Oh, girl. But anyways, now our business be that all. And uh, yeah, I was also gonna um give a shout out to the Egyptian goalkeeper. If he tried, you know, the shootout. What's his name? Uh, I think his name is Mohamed Abu Gabal. Yeah, or is it Gabaski? Something like that. But anyways, that guy tried. He saved two penalties from two Cameroonian players. Awesome. He was just so confident. I don't know if you guys saw the way he stands and everything. He was really, really confident. And when a, when a goalkeeper is that confident, it's going to be hard for you to get any ball past the light. It's going to be hard for you to get the ball past him. That's just the truth. He was confident. He stands everything. Just the way he was he was looking is his aura. You know, you could just tell that ah, this one, this one came prepared. He came to catch these balls, man. Not the balls you're thinking though. <laughs> but he came to catch these balls, basically, as a goalkeeper. So big shout out to uh Mohamed uh Gabaski or is it Gabal? Yeah, those were like notable moments in the match like the goal the egyptian goalkeeper is heroics you know wonderful play from him and uh clinton and jay you should have done better be, way better with that penalty man at least a shot on target not the way he played it but we can't really take anything away from the way cameroon played right it just wasn't meant to be for them to win you know even though i predicted it but hey so i'm going to be um releasing a video tomorrow about the senegal 
Egypt uh, game that's going to be taking place on Sunday. So I'm going to be doing a preview and I'll be posting that tomorrow. So please stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet so you can check out that video. And also check out my other videos. You know, enjoy them, laugh. They're entertaining. So check them out. Like this video too. Please give this video a big thumbs up so you can go viral. And uh, yeah, that's it from me for now. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.